Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper, and this is the Kaixa 104 by Nano Modules. So, as the Kaixa's name implies, the Kaixa 104 is indeed a 104 HP Eurorack case. And you might then ask me, well, what's special about that, Jesper? Well, it's special in quite a couple of, well, points, you might say. So most importantly, it is a very lightweight case, but the real punch that it throws is the inclusion of, well, as you can see, this row of, you might say, one new modules that come pre-installed. So you can't remove them, they are going to be there until the end of the time, but it's great value for money. So even if you were to pick up a, let's say a a four, well, a four U case, three U uh, and one U, and then you then have to fill a one U row with these kind of mo uh, modules, you're going to be paying a lot more than you're just going to pay for this case. So in this video, I just want to show you how I work with it. I've had this for a couple of months. And in full disclosure, I got this from Nano Modules at a nice and reasonable discount. Uh, but again, that won't influence whatever I have to say about this thing going forward. So that being said, let's just dive right in, shall we? Here we go. So as said and as promised, a bit of a in-depth look at the Kaixa 104 from nano modules so what i'd like to do is I, i'm not going to do a complete featurette of all of the uh, features but i'm just going to show you how i've been using this for the last couple of months and i'm also going to talk a bit more about how i use it and how i combine it into well just a an average set that i'm working on so first things first let's uh, turn this thing around so one of the things you'll see from the back here is you've got two inputs and you've got two outputs there you've got your power in power switch really like that so it's not just flipping on whenever you turn it on whenever you connect it actually um, but the one thing that this immediately shows and I'm just gonna remove this for now is I use a very cheap ikea tablet uh board because one of the key things that this is missing which i love about the um the mantis series from tip top is that they've got those feet and to be quite fair i've never used a mantis case myself i'm still uh, aching to get my hands on one of those but one of the key things that drew me towards them the mantis cases even though they, they are of course ginormously bigger than this one is it had those feet where i can imagine when you're working this set it doesn't matter if you've got a bit of a lower table and you're just hunching over your uh, your um, your case like this that is it's no problem but if you do want to incorporate this into a bigger set or if you're like me sitting down and working with it just having feet or as i'm using this ikea tablet holder it does offer a lot in the um <laughs> in the way of ergonomics but that being said don't get me wrong i love the kite set to pieces so i haven't had a chance to work with any of the uh the palette cases or any of the other larger cases like this one other than well as you've uh, as you <laughs> as you've seen in some of my other videos where i work with smaller cases typically um, 70 ish hp those kind of things so this is my first 104 that i'm working with and to be quite fair people have been well especially on my unboxing video they've responded with comments regarding the cost of this overall case and i want to use this video to prove them wrong because whether you are just starting up your Eurorack collection or you are an avid 
uh, you're a collector aficionado however you want to call it the biggest value in this case other than its build quality is of course that strip of one new modules you get out of the box um, before we dive into it after working with this case for a couple of months now I do have to absolutely point out the build quality um, the sturdiness and well the actual look and feel of this thing it is absolutely gorgeous and part of that whole experience is of course the the finish the, the layout the the coloring and everything like that i'm always fond of having that black and gold approach that well that, that nano has done uh with their modules as well but if you look at some of the other modules that are put into this case so i've got some of tenderfoot's modules there i've got the um a tall dog here i've got the well another nano module there as well i like the aesthetic of having uh gold on black well once you've got that sorted or if you do have more uh black well panels in your uh, in your set it works beautifully i've also included a a regular maths module here as well to show you how it looks if you've got some silver modules there as well um it doesn't fit the theme as strongly as the black ones of course but still it's a great approach right so no problem there whatsoever um let's then run through some of the capabilities that you've got so if you do want to bring in some external synths or external modules you've got your balanced inputs i haven't worked with them myself because i, I i'm typically a strictly euro right person when i play with these but if i can if, if i look at these and i compare how i've been using the stereo uh, and headphone outs it's just beautiful right so I'm, i don't have any issue with that um, what i truly love is the indicators so if you do bring in anything else you have complete control here you've got your indicators it's going to tell you when it's going to be clipping it's going to give you another indication of levels there as well and then of course as said um well very easy to use inputs for left and right so you can immediately incorporate that at your rack level which is of course quite different from uh, from other instruments there as well so as you can see from how i've patched these things here already so here we've got that double one to three buffet malt that is normal to the second one to three buffet malt so what i currently have is i've got one of the lfos at a rather low rate and i'm using that to trigger all kinds of things in this setup so you've got your lfos you can easily change that and i love the led that's going to give you exactly what you're going to need and this is then you can use this as a master clock um, you can use this for whatever you can use it for modulation and everything else there as well then we get to the precision adder i love to have this included so if you do want to have something where you say hey i've got my bass here and i do want to add some squiggles here and there you can actually easily do that as well and again i have to well, well compliment nano so especially jorge for the quality and again the look and feel but especially the feel of all these knobs that are on there so love to see that it's going to be great to put that there as well then we get to the actual sample and hold so this is of course one of the things that i always love to see i'm a big um krell aficionado i love to see these sort of things but actually having that embedded into your case so you don't have to worry about it but then also just having the trigger and the input and the noise and your well sample and hold output it adds a lot then we get to the to our stereo mixes um 
I understand why people might say, well, this is just a two channel mixer. You might want to have three, four, maybe even five or six. But then again, this is a 104 HP set. So you might cram, let's say two, three voices in here. Uh, but then again, two, for, two, two mixes is more than enough. And if you do want to start using a dedicated mixer, it'll it'll work straight away and then of course as these are of course well stereo you can use it even as a four four channel mixer if you then have an external two to one mixer there too so i'm going to be using this in mono because yeah i've talked about this before you've got your output module and you've got your master volume your phone mod module there as well i can just attest to the quality that this brings to the table I love this uh, as I said build quality absolutely what was expected from the quality I've seen from nano um, the well of the rails perfectly fine no problems with the fitting I still have two HP well here that I can still use and what I love to do is I just want to show you what I've done with this extremely elegant and, and a very portable case so i'm not into performing live yet i'll probably get to that point um <laughs> somewhere in the future or as we say when i grow up uh, but now let me just run you through what i've got here so i've got the lfo just multiple to a whole lot of uh, destinations so i've got one of them is going to the mats just triggering that i've got this one triggering the um uh, the ornament and crime here and that is then using the noise and then triggering that but also as you might imagine well uh, quantifying it so there's a quantizer run in here and then on the bottom here i've got a very simple five step sequencer that i'm using to well sequence my my bass and a bit of the drums there might speed it up a bit then let's continue then we've got the other one let's go into to the fourth match channel and that is immediately going here we go into the cutoff for this one and that is using this one combined with the with the, the the folder from tenderfoot and then into the vca that's just a beautiful combination there and especially if you then play with this a bit
just love creating these sort of scout soundscapes and to be quite fair 104 hp is just around the sweet spot for that if you ask me so again um if you're looking for a nice new 104 case or if you're just starting to get your feet wet into your rack i can wholeheartedly recommend the kikesa 104 it will offer you all of the let's say utility modules that you need to get started so the one thing you'll then just have to worry about is what kind of voice you want to create or maybe even voices uh, but you don't have to worry about things like lfo sample and hold in output precision adders mixes this is a great getting starting kit and don't get me wrong i've just thrown together a couple of modules in there that i love to use but just combine this with whatever you want and you're into a i can just say you're gonna have a great time so that being said i would say hope you enjoyed this and let's go back to the studio and um let's wrap this up shall we cheers thank you so much so if we then indeed want to wrap up the review of the Kikesa 104, I think I can honestly say I would recommend this to almost everyone in the Eurorack sphere. So whether you're a, a, a starter, just picking up your first modules, but you, you're looking for a case, um, this case is gonna be great, especially for starters because it becomes pre-installed with those utility modules that might not be the first one to come to mind when you're um, well, just sorting out the first things that you need. So you're gonna have those and you don't have to worry about those. It's gonna be great. You can immediately incorporate this into a broader set because of that in and output modules pre-installed. But I would also recommend if you have been a year long uh, Eurorack user and you're looking for a nice travel, travel case that you can, well, just bring around and just play with whether you're going on holiday or if you're uh, just uh, prepping for your first global tour uh, clubbing throughout all of the world's greatest euro rack aficionado sets it's great it's light it's easy to work with it is easy to fill and it is extremely lightweight and i think that especially that last point will play a tremendous role for people who have been into Eurorack for quite some time. Um, again, if you've got any questions about this case or any of the uh, the module choices I've made, please feel free to uh, drop a comment down below, uh, reach out to me directly uh, at jesper at themodularclubhouse.nl and for now I would just say, please everyone, stay safe, stay healthy and I hope to see you again soon. Cheers.